For your individual activity for this month, I have for you an All About Me interactive scrapbook. Now, I love to do this one in August at the beginning of the school year as well, because as you get some new individual students, you know, you may be meeting with these kids for the first time, so I'm always looking for fun ways to build rapport. So why you should use interactive scrapbooks? Well, they're hands-on and engaging, so it's fun for the kids, right? That first session may be kind of intimidating with you, so this is a cool way for them to, you know, use their hands, they get to cut and paste, and be a little creative, which also puts less pressure on the student sharing experience. So through doing the scrapbook, you're going to find out a lot more about them, but it's a lot easier for them to do that than for you to just sit down one-on-one -on -one and say, so tell me about yourself, tell me about your family, tell me about your interests and hobbies. They're probably like, whoa, and they're going to shut down. But if you do it through an activity, you're still getting the information that you'd like to know, but they don't feel so much pressure. And I love to do any kind of craft um, or something in an individual session because it provides an opportunity for natural conversations to occur. So as the kids are cutting and pasting, there's going to be some downtime, you know, where you're not having like a structured conversation. But natural conversations come up. So as they're cutting out their pieces and pasting, you can say like, oh, so do you have any pets? Or what did you do over the summer? Or are you happy to be back at school? You know, those natural things will come up. Again, it doesn't feel like a high intensity environment. So this one does require a little assembly. So don't worry, I've got you covered with some detailed directions and a visual guide as well for um, assembly there. And let's take a look inside. So basically this is a self-concept and self-esteem interactive scrapbook. So they're going to be, you know, figuring out words that describe them, why they're a good friend, focusing on their strengths, what makes them feel good. Um, and it's emoji themed, which is cute. And then, you know, just fun stuff about them. What makes them laugh? What makes them happy? What makes them sad? And like I said, it's interactive, so they get to like move some pieces around. There's foldable components. And it's an easy trifold design. So you're gonna just, all you need is a manila folder, and then you're going to, you know, put it in a trifold there. They can draw a picture of themselves there and their name, and then you open it up, and then you can see um, the different flaps and everything there. It's going to talk about their friends, you know, their, how they like learning, uh, their feelings, their strengths. And you can also laminate and reuse this. So if you want to, you could make the whole thing, laminate it. I mean, obviously laminate it where you can still do the flaps. Um, and then the kids could still put it in the different pieces and write on them. Um, I mean, the pro to this is that you only have to, you would assemble it once and then you get to use it over and over again. The con would be two cons. The kid doesn't get to personalize it as much. So on the front where they draw their picture and their name, they would get to do that, but then they're going to leave it with you, which then you'll then erase and reuse. So it's not like they get to take it home. Um, and I do like the idea of them taking it home. The other con is, like I mentioned earlier, the actual like action of assembling the scrapbook provides like some talking time for you guys. So it's up to you um, both, but you could laminate and reuse, which is a good option as well. And of course you want to dig deeper. So for example, things that make them laugh, funny movies. You maybe ask them, what's their favorite funny movie? Um, things that make them cry, mean people. You can dig a lot deeper there, right? Whoa, that's kind of a red flag. Who's mean to you? Is it people at home? Is it people at school? Um, again, this is the first session, so you're not trying to get like crazy, but you just want to get a feel for it and build rapport with them by doing this activity. All right, guys, I hope your students love making this interactive scrapbook.